show you how to make your camera completely wireless so you can broadcast via wirecast on YouTube completely wireless so you're not hung down to RCA cables. Um, a lot of cameras to make them wireless it's really expensive but I'm going to show you guys a low cheap alternative way to make your camera wireless. So what we have today is these right here this this brand happens to be um, a Turk it's called Turk it's just a you have your receiver and you have your sender for your wireless and then of course it transmits on 2.4 gigahertz um, our camera I use a Panasonic AVCHD and it's got a little RCA input or in for the uh, video okay and we've got our cables got a couple 9 volt batteries and got a little battery clip and some velcro because what we're going to do is we're going to make these to where you don't have to plug them into the wall you know since it's, this is a D AC DC converter what you want to do to look to see the right so you get the right volts this one says it outputs 9 volts so that's why we're going to switch these over to 9 volt batteries and of course you can you can get these little 9 volt clips right here at you know pretty much any electronic store Radio Shack, Fry's really cheap and low cost. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert this over um, to 9 volt DC so we won't have to uh, worry about plugging into an outlet because otherwise then what's the point you won't be completely wireless. So what you want to do is you want to cut this off just completely cut that off and you'll strip down the wires bare. As I said, you know, these wireless senders, there's many brands of them. You can get them on uh, Amazon, Tiger Direct. Uh, you can order them anywhere online and they're generally anywhere from uh, 50 to upwards to $100. But I just, you know, look at the reviews and get one that's middle of the road. But um, you can tell how the wire these. You'll see like a black and white. That's going to be your red. Your solid black is going to be your ground. So you'll just want to splice these in. And you can see right here, you can see where it shows your power. Got that? Yeah. Okay, this is your antennas, which you'll use. It's got this one actually has a couple directionals, which is really good. Alright, so generally what I'll do is I'll make this these cords really short. Okay, so I got this little 9 volt battery clip here. Again, you can get these at Radio Shack Fries. And what I do with this is I'm going to attach it right here. And I'll just use some electrical tape. Works really well. Generally go like that, and run a piece right down the middle of it. That way, I can just attach my battery, you know, right here at the right here at the end of it. Again, you plug it in. You got your power there. So now to attach it to the camera. Here on my camera, like I do the same thing, which which you'll see a tutorial on how to make a really low cost wireless microphone too. But I put a little piece of Velcro uh, strip right there, and that's where I'll attach the sending unit. I'll attach it right here, just like so. And I realize, you know, some cameras may not be as big. You might have a little smaller compact camera. So that might um, be something you want to consider when you're looking at the size of wireless unit you want to get for sending your video. But this camera here, it's plenty large enough. So I'll attach it to where... My RCA plugs are right here. So 
I'll put my little piece of Velcro there. And there you go. It's attached. And pretty much what you do is you take your video to your video, your two audios left and right to your two audio RCAs. You know, sometimes you may not have a, a RCA. You can go to XLR if you got XLR. Or this one here has a little smaller one, the 3 16 So, next step is, now you could make this unit, this is the unit that you're going to plug into your video capture card on your computer. You could make this wireless and run by a battery. If you prefer, you know, if you're going to use in your laptop, or you can just leave it wired since your since your main computer that's broadcasting uh, to to your YouTube uh, wirecast is stationary, and you'll be able to take this your camera anywhere within I think it's like 200 feet with this one, or it might be 200 yards. I'm not sure what the range is yet. So what I'm going to do is I'll get my cords, get my wires together just to keep the coil from coming undone. Okay. So, again what we do is I have that off just to save my battery here. So, I hook my audio up. My video. Another left right audio. Then I do the same thing. I go to my video. This is my video out. Here's my two audio outs. So, here's the entire rig here. So, pretty much what you have is you have your wireless. Here's your antenna. This one here. This particular wireless feature has a little omnidirectional. You can point it to get a better signal. You know, if, if your producer back at your wirecast says, hey, you know, this, let's see if we can get a better signal. Okay, so now the camera's hooked up and ready to stream live anywhere within range, completely wireless, so you're not having to tote cables behind you. And plus, you can go from room to room. If you're filming at a venue, say like a concert, or if you're filming a church worship service, or anything like that, and all for less than $100, you got a wireless camera rig set. So the next thing I'm going to show you is, is how this broadcasts. I'm going to hook it up to a television rather than on the computer, but it's the same principle. Okay, so what we've done is I plugged in, you know, this is a HD TV. Works the same way as a video capture card. You know, you you can either use RCA inputs or S video um, coming out. So I've matched up. I got my audio, my video, all hooked up to our television, and it's completely wireless. And it works the same principle when you're hooking up uh, this to your computer um, for your video capture card. And the good thing about these is. There's four frequencies. You got an A, B, C, and D. So you could actually run, you know, up to four cameras if you use something like this, which is a little um, video switcher box. So you could actually run your main video out um, to your computer, which is what we do at our church, you know, to switch camera angles. We'll use a little video switcher box um, to switch from camera to camera. And this one here, you know, $15. You know, so it's got your buttons for your four different inputs. Um, it's actually got uh, two outputs. So you could do an output to a monitor and an output um, to, let's say, a live feed screen within the venue. So, you know, basically what we do is we'll run one output to the video card for YouTube Wirecast. And then we run output two. To our big screens, our big triple screens. So, if we want to throw a live uh, feed up on one of the screens, we can do that. You know, instead of spending ten, twenty thousand dollars on a video switcher, you know, professional one, 
this one here does the same job for $15. So here we are. This is hooked up to our TV. And we're on frequency A. This is on A. So I can turn on the camera. And when the camera comes on. Then I turn on my sender, and there's your picture. So you see, it, it broadcasts just fine. There's my daughter, she's filming me. Okay, so I can step way back here. I can go, you know, I can go way back here, and it broadcasts. Um, I could probably even step outside, you know, if if I need to zoom up a little more, I can pull Omni directional. So it works out just fine. There's our cat. So again, that's how you do it. So you have a completely wireless, a completely wireless uh, camera where you're, you can go pretty much anywhere you want within a couple hundred feet from the receiver. Um, thanks for watching, and if you got any questions, just post them.